Hey guys, welcome back. It's me on the spree again. I'm going to be uploading videos often as long as I have an idea in my head. I want to grow this channel as fast as possible. So if you want to help me out, just gently tap the subscribe button. Thank you. I just want to share this video with you guys from Shaquille O'Neal. High numbers of athletes go broke after their career because they are not taught how to manage money. But Shaq is the 6th wealthiest basketball player. And this was his investment advice after he adopted Jeff Bezos' approach. He quadrupled his net worth investing in this way. Best thing I've ever done in my life is listen. Mm -hmm. Like I've done a lot of things and it turned out well. And from the outside looking in, it makes it look like, oh, he's an expert. That's not the case. So my strategy is I invest in things that's going to change people's lives. That's the first thing I look at. The second thing I look at, if it's too good to be true, I stay away from it, even if I lose money. So it is really about investing in things that are going to change people's lives. Now, let me attempt to explain to you how Tesla is going to change people's life. We measure this by how big of an impact Tesla is creating for the entire world. If you still think Tesla is an overvalued car company, watch this video. If your perception has changed later, share this video to the next clueless person. Now, we all know the initial Tesla mission statement. It is to accelerate the world to sustainable energy. And this is measured by how fast or how many years did Tesla force the other gasoline car makers to manufacture electric vehicles. I would say that this mission is already on its way to completion. There is a clear trend shift. The government wants it to happen. Legacy automaker who does not transition in time will face bankruptcy and they are all forced to do a 180 turn and try to manufacture electric vehicles. Now, with every EV purchase, there will be one less gasoline cars on the road. Judging by how Tesla is clearly dominating in this trend shift and forcing competitors to manufacture EV, if Tesla were not to exist in the 2000s, we probably would not see an EV on the road today. So they really did accelerate the world by a decade or two to sustainable energy. Now, Tesla's real impact will be obvious to the world in 10 years, but not now. So I'm going to use my knowledge to help you understand how is Tesla really going to change the world. Let's start from Global GDP. GDP stands for Gross Domestic Products. Global GDP accounts for all the output generated within the world. And this output is quantified by money. So Global GDP refers to the total output of the world quantified in dollars. Now, the global GDP right now cannot expand dramatically because of two things. Number one, the cost of energy. And number two, the lack of renewable energy. How we consume and demand energy have a direct impact to GDP. As we can see here, a 1% increase in energy consumption increases the real GDP by 0.59%. So why can't we just increase our energy consumption to create more wealth for everybody? We can't do that because of the source of energy we are using. We are still using coal, oil, gas and traditional biomass. All this makes up about 85% of our worldwide energy usage. Global warming from using non-renewables are still debatable. But what is not debatable is that these energy sources will eventually run out. And if we were to increase our demands and consumption right now to expand the global economy, we will be depleting these resources quickly. If the supply of these non-renewables becomes scarce, they become even more expensive. So from an economical standpoint, sticking to coal, oil and gas is not a long-term solution. Now to me, it is obvious that Tesla have multiple vertical integration and they are revolutionizing what a battery is. They increase battery storage capacity while driving the cost down. Tesla is encouraging suppliers to produce more of these batteries for them. Tesla's job is to get as much access to these batteries as possible, both by manufacturing themselves and getting from suppliers. First, they will use these batteries to electrify as much vehicles as possible. Once they have excess battery, they will have economy of scale to further drive battery costs down. It is about using batteries to store energy from the giant nuclear reactor above our heads, aka the sun. It is about building as much solar panels as possible or other forms of renewables, capture the energy and transfer and store them into batteries. Now, if you think about the economics of this, we no longer have to spend expensive hydraulic fracking machine or fund an oil exploration team, build fuel storage tanks, no more pipelines and truck bowsers for logistic purposes, no more importing natural gas through pipeline to generate electricity, no more laying miles and miles of cables. With infrastructure too expensive to build in the third world, the sun is just up there with no additional cost to business. Once the infrastructure are built up, as Tesla gets better and better in manufacturing batteries, they can use them to store the energy. There will be abundance of energy, and not just abundance, but the energy comes very cheap as well. The economics of energy have changed. With abundance of clean energy and energy at a cheap cost, the human civilization will enter a new age. Now let me show you a glimpse of history, how human civilization advanced every time we discover a more effective and efficient way to harness energy. Early humans learned to control fire, and fire was our first way of converting energy. It provided light, heat, and protection from predators. Cooking in particular was important and changed our diet and behavior for more advanced stuff to happen. After that, we learned to domesticate living things for energy. Particularly, plants and animals are used for work, food, and clothing. You increase the amount of food and you increase the population. And then we industrialized. Westerners learned to use coal to build sailing ships and colonize most of the world. 
there is slavery, globalization, and wars were fought to compete for resources such as oil. So right now, if Tesla continues to execute well, drive battery costs down, store renewable energy, giving civilization access to cheap and abundance of energy, this will cause a massive change to the world in my opinion. And let me think even further out. If Tesla were to solve artificial general intelligence, they have the best batteries and their competitive advantage is manufacturing. They will be able to utilize this global access of cheap renewable energy through building Optimus, aka Tesla bot, to tap on this excess energy. If energy was a constraint to global GDP, having cheap abundance of clean energy paired with Tesla bot will dramatically expand global GDP. This will help us to do work more efficiently and create small wealth to the world. Now, I'm not saying that this is a guarantee, there are still a lot of execution risks. But I just want to educate my viewers that Tesla is really not just a car company. I also understand that the more the energy growth, the lesser impact it will have on improving GDP. I'm just thinking out loud of the direction Tesla will take and showing why exactly Tesla deserves to be the biggest company in the future. But for those who are going to say, where is Tesla energy? It is such a small part of the business, it is very profitable. To these people, I will say that you clearly don't understand business. If batteries used for cars is more profitable, you will want to divert the battery resource to the car business first until the demand for car business are exhausted. At the same time, you continue working on driving battery costs down, improve battery manufacturing efficiency, improve the battery in all aspects, and then divert the resource to the energy business. This will be better for the company and for the shareholders. My investment goes to the most hardworking, innovative company that can drive costs down, build the best products, have multiple vertical integration, and having the government incentivizing this direction. I'm trying to share what I see that I don't see many people talking about. Previously, I've also talked about Tesla disrupting the whole automotive industry by offering transport as a service. They also will drive down the cost of logistics, which is the backbone of the economy, and this will in turn drive down the cost of business. The economy will function even more prosperously and efficiently. If you want to learn more about that, I'll link the video up here and down below. Also, at some point in the future, Tesla will likely become more of an AI company than a car company. Okay, I don't want to ramble on any further. I think you guys are falling asleep. However, if I were to change your worldview or even improve your understanding of Tesla just by a bit, do help me out by liking this video. Help me get to 1.5k subs. Thank you. So as Shaq copied Jeff Bezos and invest in things that will change people's life, I think this is a good approach when it comes to investing. I copied the same approach and thought about how Tesla will change the world. And this is my thesis of how Tesla is going to change the world in years to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and I'll see you next week.